secret recipes. In Palia, there are plenty of secret recipes going around, that and just recipe books lying all over the place, and they hold a very important and special role in Palia. So let's get into it and let me teach you about some of these special recipes. I'm going to show you where to find them, how to get them, and all sorts, so I hope you enjoy! So looking into our accomplishments, there are many food items in Palia. So I'm just going to have a look at some of my, uh, well, ticked off ones, Master Palia Chef. You can see there is a lot on there, although it doesn't include everything. So I'll be making sure to include some of those secret ones as well as the ones you see on screen today. I'll be going in order and first we're going to be looking at Boya Base. So uh, this is a recipe that is probably one of the hardest ones to unlock. But I'm going over it in the order that it does in Master Chef, with the added secret ones on there that's not there. So to get this one, you actually do need to complete the Vault of Waves. There is a specific bundle you need to complete on here, which is the Freshwater Bundle. If you complete this bundle, you will get the Boya Base, and uh, yeah, you'll have the whole recipe. But... To get these items, they're a bit harder to get. We'll be going over the trout dinner later on in the video as well. But the other bits and pieces you might want to refer to my video that actually specifically goes over the Vault of Waves and teaches you all about it and shows you each and every location you get all these things. So I highly recommend looking into that for those extra fishes and bits to be able to complete it. But in general, you just need to complete the bundle and that is the way you get the Boya Base. Now Boya Base takes a bass type and there's three different bass you can use. A shucked oyster, wheat, potato, onion and spice and it gives you 325 focus points. So very good to use if you do want to use it, but it can be a little pricey with all those ingredients used to make it. Next on our list is sashimi, which we are going to the Flooded Fortress to go and get. Now, these are sliced up bits of fish and they are gotten via a recipe by fishing with a, well, no bait. Fish with no bait in the Flooded Fortress and you should be able to get a sashimi recipe, but do bear in mind some of the cooking recipes are really hard to get sometimes because uh, you're relying on, uh, well, RNG. But at least for this one, you don't need no bait to get it. You just need to keep fishing and fishing until you get it. But to make it, you make it in a prep station and it's actually really cheap for what it is. You need rice, a fish and some spice and it gives 100 focus points. So that could be quite nice. It also gives you a minor rod health recovery bonus. So you might want to use that. Next, we're looking into the trout dinner, which you need to actually be level three with Ina first. AK, okay, you need to unlock his door key so you can actually get into his house, which we're going to go and walk over to his house now because the trout dinner recipe is inside his house. You're going to notice this as a theme with quite a few NPCs out there. The NPCs actually do have hidden recipes and things in their rooms, but you do need to improve your relationship with these NPCs to be able to get it. So, we're going to Anna's house, and if we stick to the left-hand side, you should be able to find a book called the Trout Dinner Recipe, and that is where you get it from. Now the trout dinner is actually pretty cheap for the focus points it gives you. You can use trout for it, rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, prism trout, you know, any kind of trout. And it gives you 200 focus bonus. You also need to use spice, potato and garlic. So there's that and it gives you a minor fishing hook time bonus. So that could be nice if you want to catch some rare fish. Especially if you're trying to get the boy base and uh, yeah, that requires a lot of rare fishing and especially for the Volta Wave, so it might be a nice food for the occasion. My next location is a double whammy of bacon stuffed mushrooms and a apple pie, but first we're looking for the bacon stuffed mushrooms. They're really easy to get. You come to the farmer's household in their kitchen, you can find the stuffed mushrooms and that's just really easy to get. But if you want to get the apple pie, you need the room key for Delilah, so you need to get the tier 3 friendship with Delilah to be able to go in her room. And in her room, you should be able to find a lovely piece of paper on the right hand side of the room, which will have the apple pie recipe on it that you just read and you will learn it. Now for the bacon stuffed mushrooms, you will need a mushroom, some butter which you can buy at the general store, that goes with most things like eggs, butter, flour, milk. 
Uh, it also takes a meat, so they're gonna be trapper or deer, tomato and spice, and it gives 250 focus points. And I really like this recipe. It's pretty cheap and it's uh, good for focus points. Our next one is the apple pie, which is made in the oven. You will need butter to start it. You also need wheat, sweet leaf, apples and spices. It will give you 350 focus points when you make it. Now, one thing that is in the game currently, I don't know if you have this problem when you try and make apple pie, you get stuck to the oven. The <laughs> way to fix this is by going into your H menu where you sort your house out and coming out of it and you get unstuck. So if you have that issue, highly recommend pressing H. It will help you not burn your apple pie because that would be pretty bad because it's quite expensive with the apples. <laughs> Next one we need to head to Bahari Bay for because we're going to a special area. This is a secret one that is not included on the Master Palia Chef uh, achievement menu as of current. It is the macaron recipe, which I've not really seen too many people actually talk about. But what you want to do is you'll go from that center place and you want to run over the hill and go to these very notable ruins. It's very long column with archway on the back of it but you're going to the side that goes nearest the flooded fortress because over here in the dirt you might be able to find a pile of dirt with a recipe in it i've already picked it up so i can't see any and see it anymore but you know that's how the cookie crumbles either way you should be able to find a shopping list to buy and reading this will start a quest where you just talk to heckler and stuff and they will teach you all about macarons and that will open a quest for you to be able to uh, make macarons. Now macarons are really easy to do. You do it in a mixing station. It requires eggs, flour, milk, and a sweet leaf. And it's very simple to cook up as you don't really need to do too much, but uh, ground some sweet leaf and then put it together. Next is a recipe that we get by picking up little pages. So in front of that little house, you should find a piece of paper. This is for the Aquin Chapa. It's a nice dish to eat. <laughs> but you look in that location right there on the map you should be able to find the first piece and then if we glide down from there onto the tiny little island in the river there should be another piece of paper you can find by the tree and the bush so you should be able to find another piece of paper for the recipe there i'll show you a reference on the map where to go for that and then not too far from there is also another piece of paper that you get near these rocks. So you should be able to find a piece of paper around here that you pick up and that will complete the entire recipe for you and you will obtain the Aquin Chapa. Or should I say Aquindu Chapa? Whoops, my bad. This is quite an elaborate recipe to make as it requires Chapa meat, butter, potato, mushroom, garlic and spice and it gives you 275 focus points. So very nice, sells for a decent amount as well, but it has a lot of steps to it, the actual cooking process, so you might want some friends to help you out on this one, or just be, yeah, just multitask, <laughs> and you'll get that lovely dish. Next one on the list requires some RNG because it is sushi. You need to actually fish in a pond. This one I'm using is a mirror pond. This is where I got my sushi from this exact position. You need to use glow worms. And then you just keep fishing until you get a glass bottle with a piece of paper inside. And that is how you'll get the sushi recipe. It could take you ages. It could take you a very small amount of time. Now sushi is very expensive to make. It gives you 300 focus points and a major fishing rod health boost. But you do need dari close, which is a rare spice to start it off, which you'll get in the north of Bahari Bay. You also need fish, heat root, which is on the cliffs in the north of Bahari Bay, vinegar, which you get from the general store. You also need rice and a little bit of sweet leaf, which again, north of Bahari Bay. So actually a lot of these uh, recipes are from Bahari Bay, honestly. So that what comes to it, you could choose the fish you want to use for your fish fillet. And uh, yeah, you pretty much go from there and make a lovely sushi dish. Our next one is the lovely cream of tomato soup, the absolute classic. And we're going to need some very high friendship points with our friend Ref, our little sussy cook in the world of Palia. <laughs> so pretty much you need the room keys to get in his room. So you're going to need that tier three friendship. As I was saying, you're seeing a theme here. They're holding recipes in their bedrooms. So once you get into there, it's literally directly by the door. As soon as you go into his room, it's on the right hand side. There should be a book on the counter and you can unlock the tomato soup. And then we can get to cooking it. 
Okay, okay, up. It's not that bad to make, actually. You just need some milk, tomato, wheat, onion, and spice. And it gives you 275 focus points. It's not too bad to make. You will need, like, an oven to cook the bread, though. So just bear that in mind. Anything that really takes, uh, well, baking, like bacon, or uh, anything that takes bread, it will need an oven, and you might need two or three mixing tables or prep tables or stoves uh, some recipes do require you to have several of these stations to make because one of the uh, items like the pot on the stove hogs the station so you need another one to use the other station just bear that in mind when cooking now the next recipe we're looking at is probably one of the last recipes you'll probably get in the game which is the mushroom soup which you need a tier four friendship with gina so you'll need to max her out and if you get to her tier 4 friendship quest, you'll get this quest with Hecla and Gina where she'll be sad and uh, Hecla's going to ask you for some help. And basically it comes down to Hecla giving you some mushroom soup recipe because Hecla doesn't know what to do to cheer up Gina, but mushroom soup Gina loves. So she trusts you with that recipe to make her some mushroom soup. And if we have a look what goes into this recipe, it takes mushrooms, milk, spice, wheat onion and garlic and gives you a whole 275 focus points so very decent and uh yeah you'll get three of them upon cook like you do with pretty much any other recipe in the game there's quite a few aspects to it but it's definitely worth one picking up and you just need to keep talking to gina and talk to heckler as well both of them are very worth talking to so you can speed up the process of you getting that cream of mushroom soup Next, we're looking at Cernic Noodle Stew, which you will need a tier 3 friendship with Ashura to be able to get in his room to be able to get the recipe. So another one of those, I'm afraid, that you need the room keys for. Very worth talking to a lot of people in Palia and working on that friendship. 100% recommend. There's a reference for you. So pretty much where his recipe book is, it's on the windowsill. And you go up to the windowsill and you go and collect the recipe. Now to make it, you need a ceramic meat, a spice, wheat, onion and carrot. And it gives you 225 focus points. It's not too bad of one to cook. It just requires a bit of chopping and a bit of roll in this one. So definitely a decent recipe. And quite a few NPCs do request this recipe. So it's definitely worth picking up. Our next recipe is also a recipe NPCs request a lot of. And it's the creamy carrot soup which you get from the library by reading the book on the shelf. Now, you might need to actually talk to Kaleri a bit to be able to read the book on the shelf. So just bear that in mind. But once you're able to, you should be able to read the books in there. I believe you just need to do some normal questing to be able to get through it, like the main story quest to be able to actually access the library books. Creamy Carrot Soup uses garlic, milk, spice and carrots, and it gives you 125 focus points our next recipe is also unfortunately an rng recipe is the fish stew and you'll be coming to the bahari bay coastline i am particularly at this dock because this is where i found mine and you'll need a fishing rod and you'll need to use worm bait and you're pretty much going to be fishing until you get a glass bottle with a recipe in it when i actually got the fish stew recipe i got two back to back so hopefully you'll be as fortunate as me when it comes to getting a fish stew recipe because oh this is really good early game recipe actually if you can get it um it's quite nice to make for a few bits of money on the side of a monast and this is why because it takes a fish fillet and some spice which can be any spice and a garlic so it's really cheap Gives you 100 focus points as well and a minor safe zone speed boost so that's always nice thankfully the next one we're looking at is really nice and easy it's the loaded potato soup which you can find in hoddery's household and it's pretty much just chilling on the table out there loaded potato soup really easy to go ahead and pick up all you need to do is read it and you're done loaded potato soup takes potatoes butter any meat onion and garlic and it gives you a whopping 275 focus points so very nice it will need an oven though to do the bacon but 100 a really good recipe next one we're looking to is by hideaway bluffs and this is because you need to go into hassian's house but you're going to need hassian's keys so you're going to need a tier 3 friendship with Hassian, of course, to be able to get into his house. But his house is located in this tiny little wooden area off in the middle of nowhere, if we're honest. Just a perfect home for a hunter, really, isn't it? 
But once you get into his abode, uh, if you go to the middle of his abode, you should be able to find what I'm talking about. So yeah, just make sure you get that tier 3 friendship, get the room keys, you'll be able to get in there. And then we'll be able to go ahead and go to the middle of the room and grab a book off of this little uh, log carpety thing and you'll get the fried catfish dinner which is very nice of a recipe to get of course for this you're going to need catfish so kill them a catfish is probably what you'll most likely have it takes flour any spice onion and it will also take a tomato it's actually quite a simplistic recipe to make it's a really nice one to do so 100 recommend if you can grab it uh, go ahead and grab it it's also a requested gift that zeki really likes so it might be worth going for it like that for that if you want some friendship rewards next one we're looking into is the onion soup which is another recipe you'll probably get early on you actually need to come to Killama fishing docks where Ina hangs out and there should be some paper by this barrel where Ina usually stands next to the uh, lifesaver and then if you go a little bit further up next to this other barrel you should find another piece of paper and then that will complete the onion soup really easy like that it should all be located around the fishing dock to make it though onions flour garlic gives you 100 focus points very easy early game recipe to go ahead and grab i 100 percent recommend picking it up and that is pretty much all of the secret recipes that you can get in the game now if you want any of the other recipes that you're maybe thinking where do i get those well they're commonly bought through ref and you can buy them for some coins off of him so you got things like the ramen the hardy vegetable soup which is an absolute staple you've got things like the blueberry pie the stir fries like the veggie and the meaty one and a few other things like the uh, masala recipe you might want so yeah just go and uh, check out ref store and he has a bunch of those recipes in there you can get for gold and you can go ahead and make them in the stove the prep table or the mixing table uh, you should be able to get it for you there 100% recommend getting that hearty vegetable soup. I think you'll have to anyway because it's part of the main quest but uh, it's one I used a lot early on to get some cash and it's very cheap so very very good and uh, that's where you get all the other recipes that are just generalistic that you can get but the other ones I hope it helped you out and you've learnt a thing or two or you can hopefully find a recipe you didn't know where it was and give that NPC its gift it wants or whatever you want to do with it do remember though if you do cook a starred meal the starred meals you can actually place down as decoration in your house which is really cool and i love it that's how i got the screenshot in the first bit of the video so highly recommend doing that as well as if it's really nice i love doing it putting it around the house it looks so good and yeah thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye